Ahoy there, fellow ARC players. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn off the pickup timer for structures. In the not-too-distant past, the Structures Plus mod allowed us to pick up structures at any point after setting them down, but some major changes have happened with S Plus, and one of those changes was getting rid of the no pickup timer, so I thought it might be helpful to you guys if I showed you how to get that ability back. It should only take you a couple of minutes to make the change, and it's pretty easy to do. What's really nice though is that this will work not only for S Plus structures, but default structures as well. This will also work on your single player file or a server that you're running. So let's get to it. If you're familiar with any of my other tutorials on changing INI files, you probably know how to get to your game user settings configuration file. If that's the case, use the timestamp in the comments section to skip forward to the implementation of the INI file change. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure your game is not running. If it is running, the changes we're about to make won't be saved, so be sure to have ARC shut down. If you're implementing this change on your server, you'll need to restart the server after we're done for it to take effect. So after verifying the game is not running, open up your file explorer. Next, open up the drive that you have Steam saved to. For most people, it will be the C drive, but I actually have Steam saved on a peripheral drive, so I'm going to open the D drive. Next, you'll want to open up your Steam folder. My Steam folder is misnamed Civ6, and for me to change the name back to Steam would require me to re-download all my games, so just ignore that it's named Civ6, it's actually the Steam folder. Next, open the Steam Apps folder, then Common, Arc, Shooter Game, Saved, Config, and then Windows No Editor. Here are your INI files. The one you want to open is the game user settings.ini file. It's just a notepad document. Scroll down to server settings and type always allow structure pickup equals true. Uh, there's no spaces in any of that, so not before or after the equal sign or anything like that. I'll have this line of code in the comments section along with the timestamps, so you can just copy and paste it. I'll also put the file path in the description of this video so you have a quick reference to get back to your INI files in the future. Next, just save the notepad document and you're good to go. If you're doing this on a server that you're renting, you'll need to figure out how to get to the configuration files on your server's website. I use Craft and Survive and that's a really easy platform to use. For Nitrato servers, you have to enable something called expert mode as well as making the INI change. If you're using a tertiary computer as a server, make sure you apply the changes on that computer. Anyway, that's it. Now you can pick up any structures you set down without having to worry about a pickup timer. If you're interested in other INI file changes you can make to your game, check out my top four favorite INI file changes video. Removing the pickup timer would have made it onto that list, but it wasn't a problem before since S Plus allowed you to do that. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider dropping a thumbs up on it and subscribing to the Havoc Gaming channel. Thanks for watching, enjoy having no pickup timers, Godspeed.